Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can deploy your Spring Boot application into OpenShift. So first let's create an application. We are going to choose the DIY. Then your application name. And hit create application. While that is being created, let's go to the start.spring.io and create your project. So here uh, your group name, your application name name doesn't matter it's web hit the generic project now load open and copy it to your directory to preferred directory that's done. Now, let's wait for this project to create it. I'm going to pause this video over here. Okay, application creation is done. I'm going to copy the clone directory. Go to our file folder. Create another folder. And open the bash over here. You need to install git bash. And then paste it. And it will clone your project give your SSH password it's gonna download the code so code download complete now go to the demo boot project from here you need to copy source git ignore and pom file then go to your test spring boot remove DIY MS can read me delete them and okay there is some problem I just needed to refresh anyway let's just paste it and yeah next open up your favorite ID import the project Project is over here. Then select the palm file. Okay, go to the source main Java and get a sample controller. Okay, I probably didn't add the dependency, so let's add them. Spring Boot starter parent, there is no web, so you need to add the web dependent. Okay, so I don't need this, I only need this one Spring Boot starter web. Next, I should be able to get the rest controller, I do and the method okay so the application is done now let's run it locally And I'm having some problem because I removed the test, so we don't need the test for now. So I'll just remove it and rerun. It's running. I go to the browser and hit local for score 8080. You should be getting test. And do do. Next. Let's add the action hook. So here the action hooks are predefined. Uh, start and stop, nothing in here. So we're gonna stop them, I mean remove them and use our own. So 
So let's add the custom hook. So this is the deploy. So here, uh, let me just go line by line what I have done over here. First, I'm creating the repository directory if it does not already exist, then creating the log if not exist, then downloading the Maven, extracting it to the data directory, and finally removing it, removing the tar file. Then setting up the Java form by default, it's 1.8, sorry, 1.7. So I'm setting it 1.8, is also installed but not pointed to, by default. Then setting up the M2, adding the Maven OPTS updating the path and going to the repository directory finally seeing the version and here we're gonna change a little bit i'm gonna just run the package and removing the target folder that is being that is going to be created by the package command so rm-rf target folder and Finally, uh, let's go to the start. So here I'm doing nothing much, just sourcing the bash, then setting up the Java home, updating the path, going to the repository directory, and finally running the char file that will be created by this command. So let's copy that and add it over here. As you can see, it's not much over here, just it's running Java with some uh, configuration on the port given by the OpenShift on the address given by the address and setting up the OpenShift uh, profile for a spring, which we are not using for now, we will we can use later. Anyway, so yeah, and the end is simple, it's just killing the PID that is using by the Java. Okay, now let's open up the terminal and go to the, what is the project name, DIY boot, yeah, so let's see the status, first let's resize it. So it's gonna take a while. I'm gonna pause time to time. We don't want to see all the install and everything go through because it's gonna take some time. It's gonna download the map and set it up, set up the Java and everything. So here we see our problem uh, with the deploy. It's not executable, so we need to change it via this command. Okay, so it's downloading, setting up the map and, and everything. Let's set, let's just pause over here. Okay, I'm running uh, the project, but I'm getting an error executing Maven because the settings file is not uh, given. So let's add that. So setting file is nothing. It's just showing where the M2 folder is. So I'm just showing where the M2 folder local repository directory. Okay, and now let's just commit and run again. Uh, I also changed something. I 
think I need to go back to that. Yeah, it needs to be packaged. Anyway, let's just see what happens. Okay, so it works without that. Uh, Sometimes you may get some error because the target jar file is not going to be installed. But in this case, it was installed with this command. But for some reason, if you don't get this, you can use just screen and then use package. Uh, that will create a target folder and inside that your uh, jar file so now go to the browser and refresh and go to the DIY boot go to the URL so yeah now your application is deployed on OpenShift I hope you liked it if you have any question feel free to ask in the comment below otherwise bye bye